In the savannas of Africa, one of the most conspicuous modifiers of the tree grass balance is the African elephant, an herbivore that can weigh in excess of 12,000 pounds and is capable of utterly destroying trees as it feeds on the phloem and leaves. This poses a challenge for plants. How can a plant protect itself from this huge animal? While some plants simply do their best to tolerate the intensive damage that elephants wreak, there is one tree species that has a unique approach to dealing with herbivores both large and small. The tree is Acacia drepanolobium, a so-called ant plant that engages in a mutualistic relationship with colonies of tiny bodyguard ants that live on the tree. The tree provides the ants with a sugary solution excreted at glands on the leaves, as well as houses in the form of swellings that occur throughout the tree. In exchange for this food and housing, the ants vigorously defend the acacias when the plants are disturbed, swarming onto the intruder and biting with their piercing mandibles. But can these tiny defenders protect trees from the threat posed by elephants, the world's largest land-dwelling mammal? Well, when Jake and I saw scenes like this one, we began to wonder if these ants might be more formidable defenders than we'd imagined. The photo was taken during a drought year when elephants were obliterating a lot of trees. What you see in the foreground is Acacia mellifera, an acacia species that does not house ants, and you can see what kind of shape it's in. Surrounding that tree are Acacia drepanolobium, the ant plant, and as you can see, those plants are completely untouched by elephants. To figure out whether ants were in fact capable of defending trees from elephants, we conducted several experiments. The first thing we wanted to know was, are elephants avoiding these trees because they are protected by ants, or do the trees just taste bad? To get at this question, we conducted feeding trials at an elephant orphanage in southern Kenya. In these trials, we offered elephants a choice of branches of one of their favorite plant species, Acacia mellifera, both without ants and with ants added, and branches of the ant plant, Acacia drepanolobium, both with and without ants. Once we'd collected these data, we then used Cox regression models to assess the probabilities of feeding on the different branch types by the elephants. What this graph shows is that elephants like to eat Acacia drepanolobium, the uppermost black circles, as much as they like to eat Acacia mellifera, the uppermost red circles, as long as there are no ants on either of the branch types. When ants are present on branches of either plant species, shown by the lowermost triangles, elephants avoid both Acacia species.